Okay. Hello, my name is James Etock, and I am the uh, s publisher, editor, sometimes writer, and all around, all around broke person of Serial Geek magazine. Boom. Bang tidy. What, what's next? So tell us a little bit about Serial Geek. How did it get started? How many issues? Oh God, you want me to see the origin of Serial the Geek? The origins. Okay, so the origin of Serial Geek began when I was dating a lovely lady. Um, she was a student. I went back to her hometown in Wales, England. Oh, sorry, no, Wales off of England. And we went to dinner with her friends and it was so incredibly boring that I zoned out and I, managed, I was just thinking to myself, what if I did a magazine about 80s cartoons? Just like that. Because I knew all these people who wanted to talk about it, write about it, draw it, and I thought, okay, I can do this. So I, um, I, was, I was drifting, they're talking about their boring lives, and I thought to myself, I'm going to do this. So I go back to my girlfriend, I said, I've got a great idea for a magazine. She said, that sounds great. She was a fashion student, so the first issue of Serial Geek came to be out of this weird marriage of, uh, not marriage, because we were just going out, but a weird marriage of uh, ideas and creativity, and the first issue is incredibly dark, and it just came together. It's like, let's do it. Then we went on holiday to Brighton, which is on the coast of England, and we were trying to think of a name for the magazine. Originally, this is an exclusive, the magazine was going to be called Transformation Sequence, which was a terrible name for a magazine. So we were walking along, and I said, well, she said, what does Saturday morning cartoons inspire? And I said, serial. And she said, and what's the other thing? And I was like, geek. And we went, serial geek. And that was it. That's the origin. And then I was hit by gamma rays, and that was the other bit. So yeah. Nice. Uh, you can order Serial Geek magazine by going onto the website, www.serialgeek.com. And serial as in breakfast cereal, not me, 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 serial killer. So serialgeek.com, and you can pre-order and buy all of this. you definitely have to. <laughs> yes, yes. I have to distinguish no murders take place in these magazines. I assure you. Not yet, anyway. So uh, does it just encompass everything about the 80s? Yeah. Or yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Serial Geek magazine covers every aspect of 80s animation. Each each issue is a themed. So you've got like horror is issue four, issue five and six are comics, issue seven and eight um, animated movies, and nine and ten are East meets West, as in Japanese animation influencing American animation. I like the way how bad I am at this interview that I'm looking down to look at my magazines right. without looking at you in or the, the camera. In the magic of cinema, we will edit it. Edit. Cut through. Nice. So awesome. James E. Talk, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. In more ways than one. Shush! <laughs> That's our German secret. <laughs> Nein! <laughs> Nein! Alright, thank you so thank much. Thank you, sir.